treasure trove. This Cambodian jewelry dates back more than a thousand years. Why is it only now turned up in London? Well, a vast trove of Cambodia's crown jewellery, much of it dating back to the 10th century or earlier, has surfaced in London as part of a hidden collection belonging to a known antiquities smuggler. Cambodian experts say they've never seen most of the jewellery before and are stunned by its existence. The items will now be put on display in Phnom Penh later this year. And my colleague Celia Hatton had a preview in London. <laughs> From Angkor Wat, Cambodia's 12th century temple complex that's one of the world's top heritage sites, you can see jewelry carved into stone. Now, we know this jewelry exists in real life. These stolen Cambodian antiquities have been rediscovered in London. These are Angkor's crown jewels. This might be a, a piece from a, a crown. Archaeologist Sonetra Song studied Angkorian jewelry for years. There are carvings uh, on the stone. Only by examining temple carvings. Finally, she holds the real thing. I could not believe it. And it, especially it's like from uh, one single collection. Experts think this crown could date to the 7th century. This gold cup is believed to have been a royal rice bowl. And these? A puzzle for archaeologists how they were used. Another mystery, exactly how these items traveled from Cambodia's precious temples halfway around the world to the UK. Much of Cambodia's looting happened in modern times, during three decades of civil war that began in the 1970s. We know that this man profited from that turmoil, the antiquities smuggler Douglas Latchford. A British citizen, Latchford died in 2020 as he was awaiting trial in the U.S. Latchford's family agreed to return his stolen collection, but the authorities didn't know what would be handed over. I'm just so excited. Brad Gordon, the head of Cambodia's investigations team, was the first to see the jewellery. I was driven by a representative of the Latchford family to an undisclosed location. There was a vehicle, the door was open, and inside were four boxes of Cambodia's greatest treasures. I felt like crying. I was, I just thought, wow, the, the crown jewels of the Cambodian ancient civilization had ended up here in the UK. And it was all packed up in four boxes in the back of a car. Last year, we went to Cambodia to meet looters turned government witnesses. They've identified items they say they stole from temples and sold to Latchford and his network. Items investigators have traced to UK institutions like the British Museum and the VNA. Cambodians want all their stolen items back including the country's authoritarian leader, Hun Sen. An election's coming up in July, and the jewelry's return will be painted as a victory for him. Politics aside, Cambodians will celebrate this unexpected surprise. After decades in the dark, these treasures will soon go on display, ready to shine once again. Celia Hatton, BBC News, London. What a fascinating story and lots more on that story on the BBC website.